Good day, Miss Earth Crown followers. So welcome. I know that this is the much-awaited part of um, our our activity for today. So a while ago, we were able to do a Facebook Live, but this time we'll be interviewing our girls one by one. So I'd like you to say hi to our queens, and and of course, please say hi to the beautiful hi, girls. Hello. Hello. All right. So we know that you, that you have actually already gone rounds of media as well as uh, you've answered many questions. But today we'll actually make it a bit light. We'll have activities. <laughs> if you don't want to pressure you that much, okay, so are you okay if, to, if we have a bit of fun? Probably yeah, not. Yeah, uh, so yeah. Alright, so the first one is what I call the picture throwback. So they will be given pictures and they will just react to the pictures that are given to them and uh, they can say anything they want about the pictures, right? So, are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So this photo here goes back to our uh, pre-judging for face and poise. And I was actually really excited for this competition because it's really about your inner, like your true beauty as well as inner beauty as well because it's about poise, the way you sort of um, deliver yourself, the way you walk, the way you pose and everything. So this was the most fun for me and also because um, we're all together, all 86 candidates and that's such a rare occasion especially when we're all split up into three different groups. So any kind of prejudging, it was just really exciting to see all the other candidates mm -hmm. from all over the world. And then, yeah, it's just I love this portion because it's really about just your natural beauty, and that it's so you hardly see that when we're all sort of all glammed up and everything. So it's a different side to us that everyone gets to see, and it's yeah, it was nice that it was live as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed. This and I was actually there uh, when the, uh, when the yeah. event happened, and I could say that you really look beautiful without makeup. Oh, all yeah. of you. <laughs> Seriously speaking, and I think that what makes Miss Earth really different from yeah. other pageants, right? Yes. So they really would like it to be natural and feel mm -hmm. free whatever makeup, or if you don't want to wear makeup, yeah. mm -hmm. feel free to do that. So I think that's one of the essence, right? Yes. So, yes. Thank you. Guys, just give a big round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next. Would you like to go next? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, this one is very special to me, which is the National Costume Competition. Yes. I can still remember, I was so happy when everybody was dressed up and I could see everyone in their national costumes because it really showcased the culture of different um, people or the different culture of different countries. And I could still remember, I couldn't forget this time because I was very sick during the national costume competition. I just wanted to sleep. I just wanted to lie in bed, but I know that I have to represent the Philippines well. And my costume was very, very big. It so was. It was big. I'm so sorry, I hope you don't mind me asking, was it heavy? It was very heavy and I was not feeling well. But I know I have to perform for my country. You know, I have to showcase what the Philippines was about. I could still remember the, the Spanish era that was the inspiration of my costume. And I'm happy to showcase to people that when I went out, people were in awe of the clothes. And I'm just happy that the clothes didn't overpower me as well. I was able to bring it well. And so I'm so blessed to actually see um, prestigious designers in front of me who are also clapping because of the creation of the Filipino national costume. And I was very happy to perform and to win the gold medal for the Philippines that time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Karen. Yes, we are Okay, now. this, I think this is special for every candidate because it was the stage, it was the scenery, the place where we, where all of, of our dreams of being here were going to happen to be accomplished. And actually for me, this, I, I actually post something about this, that it was the place that I like admire because of it has so many like uh, different events. For example, Miss Universe was held for long mm -hmm. here. Yes. 
uh, and for me to be here was really an honor and it was a mix of a lot of emotions, excitement, uh, sad because it was getting over, mm -hmm. uh, like passion because we are rehearsal every day, we were tired, it, this was the last days that we were having together. Mm -hmm. So it was very emotional that to see this place and yeah, it's so special. I would love to come back again, uh, maybe the next year for the next version of Miss Earth. I would love to be here again. And yeah, that's my feeling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Oriana. Yes, Maya. Hello, everyone, again. I have a uh, face for judging. It's really uh, interesting because I see uh, we, um, many women without makeup and wow my god it's really beautiful girls we have a really beautiful girls without makeup and uh, really different culture really different uh, countries yeah and uh, for me uh, this prejudging uh, very funny because uh, see uh, girls, uh, I see girls without makeup. Uh, we look like baby. <laughs> we look like baby, and we can uh, game. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like baby um, game, like baby game, yeah, uh -huh. and uh, we. Hello. I'm really happy to stay here. I'm like a baby. I'm. <laughs> you were like a new It's, baby. it's yeah. so yeah. cool, prejudging. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, guys. So that was the first round. And uh, it was a bit easy, so let's now try it uh, and uh, make it more environmentally focused. Mm -hmm. I'll give them another set of pictures and let's see how they would react to it. Okay, let's give them a few, give them a few seconds. Right. Anyone would like to start and react to it? All right. Well, yeah, yes. I can start. This is air pollution. Uh, I think today we have so many solutions, for example, to use the bike, to use other ways of transportation that can like uh, make less the contamination. Uh, for example, share the, the car with other people, or use the bike, or, you know, or walk, or use uh, public transportation that is not like this, because this, for example, in this picture, you can see that they are really old buses and maybe it's better not to use them, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, I was talking actually this problem with some of the people in my country. They said me that it's a little bit difficult to do like these new ecological ways to mm -hmm. transport because they have problems of health, because they, do, they can't walk very easily, you know? It, it, it depends on the person, the conditions of the person, but maybe if us, for example, as young people, can um, promote these types of transportation. It would be better for a um, uh, major option for people to know that uh, we can do a sacrifice or a change uh, of habits in, in our lives that can help our mother earth. Great. It's just the change of habits. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Thank you, Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, mine's bushfires. So this is actually quite relevant to Australia because we experience that, especially in the summertime. And you know, like some of these are like due to human activities, but a lot of it is due to sort of natural um, environmental conditions, like when it's very dry and hot and windy. So I think it's like kind of relevant to climate change because as the the weather gets hotter, mm -hmm. there's gonna we're more prone to these types of um, conditions and these natural disasters. And I think um, we have to look after our environment through all our different ways for reducing climate change and global warming. But when we're in these situations, it's really important that people are prepared and educated. They know how to protect themselves and everything because I've heard 
a lot of really sad stories of, um, especially in Australia, we had one really bad bushfire, and people were trying to leave too late when the fires are already consuming a lot of the land and everything like that, and they get stuck in cars and everything like that, where it's just burnt and everything like that. So I think it's really important for like the countries, the local communities and everything to be educated about how they can um, put their safety first and how they can um, get out of these conditions safely. So I hope that you know when we go back to our countries, I know this is really relevant to Australia, that I can keep promoting ways that we can help and get out of these conditions safely. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. I'll go first? Yeah. Okay. I actually got like planting trees. You know, a lot of people think that planting trees is what just Mr. does. And um, a lot of people think that planting trees is just planting trees. It's actually very important. It, based on science, we understand what the, a tree actually does. It produces for you oxygen, that's why we breathe it. And it also absorbs carbon dioxide. It's very important because as, as I was advocating about the conservation of energy and the embrace of renewable energy, as more carbon emission goes to the atmosphere, this is actually a good carbon sink and carbon sequestration. So as you continually plant trees, you actually help, um, you give cooler climate at the same time it produces more oxygen. And it also absorbs the carbon dioxide that we actually release. You know, you don't, don't just simply cut trees and burn them, because if you do, you actually um, produce more carbon dioxide that goes to the atmosphere and increases more greenhouse gases and produces more heat for the earth and increases global warming and then climate change. So it's very important for you to understand the science and the purpose of what you're doing when, you, when it comes to planting trees. It's not just because you want to do it or it's just for a show, but it's very important. That's why I'm very grateful that every time I plant trees, I know there's, a, there's an importance why we do it. And also not just trees, but also when we, um, when we plant mangroves as well, mm -hmm. it's also important. That's why um, I believe planting trees is one of the most important things that we have to do. Not just for a show, but the importance behind it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yes, yes love <laughs> A little bit speak English, but I can say that uh, water pollution and uh, problem uh, kill, kill animal, it's really a, a different problem and a really a strong problem. Uh, people need uh, uh, this problem we need to spread awareness. Yes, awareness. yes. Awareness. yes. This problem. We have a red book, but it's uh, it is not uh, answer mm -hmm. about uh, problem. We need to promote Agreed. people about don't uh, throw your trash. Yeah. Uh, don't uh, pack trash Correct. in the water and uh, we need to save our animal because it's our life we uh, need it for animal okay. we all and uh, I want come back in my uh, in my country and I want uh, to, continue to, continue to continue promote uh, people about how to save our animal, our mother earth. It's very important. important. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for reacting to those pictures. So, to our followers, do you now see the reason why this beautiful girl swine? Okay. So, um, they will educate us more as they go through their reign, and I think there will be a lot of activities in store as well for them and for us. So, uh, please feel free to follow MissEarth.org and Miss Earth Ground because we'll continue to update you on that. So, we'll get back later with our second activity. So, in the meantime, say bye. 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 bye.